morning, guys. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, it's beautiful and sunny today. Uh, we recorded this uh, tutorial over several days, so it might not be sunny and beautiful when you get this. I hear there might be some rain um, in a couple days, uh, but I hope you're having a great week. Uh, today's project is our sun catcher project, and these turned out really, really cute. Um, I'm totally obsessed with these, and I think you guys are going to love making them. Um, I want you to gather up your supplies, so you're going to need your white glue. Uh, you will need either black food coloring or black paint. You will need plastic. You can use lamination sheets. You can even use, um, you know, a school binder has those pouch inserts. You can use those, that would work. You can use the tops of your clamshell packages. You just need clear plastic. Um, you could use saran wrap if you have nothing else, but that is tricky. It's a little too thin. So um, try to avoid that if possible, but if that's the last thing you have, if it's the only thing you have, you can try it on that. Um, so your printables, your glue, uh, will actually have a file for your printables. It is linked uh, down below, and you guys can go there and print off um, some really cute options uh, for your templates. If you would like your name or a cool phrase or something really funky, um, just hit us up. Either email me at skills, the letter N, frills at gmail.com. That's skills and frills at gmail.com. Um, or you can go and hit us up on Facebook or Instagram. It's again, skills, the letter N frills on both of those platforms. Let me know what you want. We will happily make you a file and send you um, a template for, for what you want to work on. So uh, again, gather up your glue, your templates, your plastic, uh, your food coloring. We'll also need um, dishwashing liquid for one of these options. So if you have some of that, just get that ready um, and we'll get started. I hope you guys have a great time making these today. Okay guys, we're gonna start our project by making our uh, black glue. That's what we're gonna need to do first. Uh, you should have just a small bottle. If your bottle is really big, uh, you can definitely uh, take out a lot of it and maybe combine bottles. These are small bottles, so they're perfect. I'm gonna pour out about half of the glue into this uh, disposable cup. We're gonna use it later. So I wanna keep it, but I only need about half of my glue in my bottle. Okay, once it's out, I'm gonna add my paint, okay? We're gonna use about half uh, paint and half the glue. If you have food coloring, you'll squirt your food coloring in here. You probably actually don't even have to empty the bottle halfway if you're using food coloring, maybe more like three quarters. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my paint into my glue. should be good. I want to make sure that I've left enough room. If you can see, I've left enough room so that I can mix this. I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to shake it like a Polaroid picture. You guys know all how to do that, right? Hey guys, so all of our paint and glue has been mixed together. If you have food coloring, that's fine too. Um, I took out a long skewer and took the top off and mixed mine um, that way too to make sure that it was really, really well mixed. So you might wanna try that as well, especially if you're having difficulty shaking it if your bottle's full, um, stirring it might be a really good idea. Um, the other things we're going to need, let me show you. We have um, our plastic. Um, I did have laminating sheets, so I did do a few laminating sheets, um, but you can use the tops of your lids, whatever you have around. Um, just cut out um, your lids so you have the flat part, that'd be great. Also have some printed sheets of what I want to um, uh, make my sun catchers out of. I have a turtle, I'm gonna post all of these um, in a file and I, I will link that below so you guys can uh, print out some of these as well. So I have a turtle, 
Um, I have a bunny for Easter. I thought it would be cute. And then uh, we're doing one for Alice. That is her name. If you guys uh, want your name, uh, all you have to do is email me skills, the letter N, frills at gmail.com or hit us up on Facebook or um, Instagram. Again, it's skills N, frills. Um, and let me know uh, what name you want or what words you want. And I will email you guys a, a file with your name if you want that, okay? Um, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to outline my letters. And the way we're gonna do that is we'll start with Alice. I am going to put my plastic on top and I want to use as little plastic as possible. That way I can use it for other sun catchers. So that looks perfect. I'm gonna take down my plastic so that if uh, my sheet for some reason moves, all my work won't be lost. And we are going to use our glue that is paint and glue mixed, our black. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out just to get it started. And we are going to slowly trace our lines. You don't want to be too fast. You don't want to squeeze too much because you don't want it to go everywhere. You just want to follow the lines of your printout. Okay, now we have Alice's name. I'm gonna put that to the side to dry. Let's do our next one. Should we do turtle or a bunny? Let's do our bunny. Okay guys, now that both of my outlines are, are done, we need to let these dry. I'm gonna leave them overnight and let them dry. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. It's uh, been overnight, so all of my stencils are now dry. You can see that uh, the glue isn't shiny anymore and it's totally dry to the touch. I let these sit overnight. I couldn't tell you exactly when they dried, probably at least four or five hours they need though, if you can't do overnight. Um, but we did a bunny and we have a turtle that we did and we have Alice's name that we're doing. Uh, there's a couple of techniques that you can use to color these in. We're gonna go through two of them and that way you can try the different ones at home and see which one you like the best, okay? Let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna work on the first technique for our sun catchers. Now that our outlines are dry, we can fill them in. And we're gonna use uh, this first technique, which is like a paint glue. It dries really interesting. It's actually a really cool technique. It took me a few um, minutes to get used to it, um, but I really think in the end it was worth the effort. So if you have white glue lying around, uh, you probably have a little left from yesterday if you uh, digers with paint or food coloring. Remember, we poured half out, so you could definitely have kept that. Um, this is a whole new bottle, but um, again, whatever you have is great. So you'll need white glue, and then you'll also need dishwashing liquid. This is, um, I think it's palm olive, clear and free. It does happen to be clear, but any color will work. A lot of times they're blue or green, and that's totally fine. We're only adding a small amount, and it's really, really gonna be overtaken by the coloring, the, the food coloring you're going to add. So it doesn't matter if yours is not clear like mine. Um, so what I want you to do is gather up your supplies. Again, white glue, just regular school glue, your uh, dishwashing detergent, and then your food coloring. Obviously, you're gonna need something to mix in and possibly a little palette if you have it. So get all those things together and I'll show you how we make our really cool glue paint. Okay guys, once you have all your supplies, remember it's white glue and dishwashing soap. Uh, I also have my food colorings here, as you can see. I have a little container to mix in, and then I'm gonna um, 
divide mine up and make colors in my palette. I also have a couple of little toothpicks to help me mix. This recipe is two tablespoons of white glue to a quarter table, a quarter teaspoon of um, dishwashing liquid. That's a pretty small amount, um, but this should be more than plenty for you to mix all of your colors that you could possibly want. So we're gonna start. I don't think it's necessary to be uh, using a measuring spoon uh, for this. I just want you to eyeball it. If you don't really know what a tablespoon looks like though, you can definitely get one out. You can actually use a regular spoon, fill it up and use that to stir in everything if you want. So we have about two tablespoons of glue in our container. And now we're gonna add just a little bit of our dishwashing liquid. We don't need a ton. And we're gonna mix that together. Again, I'm using toothpicks, but you can use a spoon if you have it. Maybe a disposable spoon would work well. This is gonna be pretty thick because obviously it's glue. Um, I can't really tell you the science behind why we're adding dishwashing liquid. Um, that's just the recipe that I have. So I wish I knew, I wish I could tell you. But uh, I tried it both ways and it does seem to work better with the dishwashing liquid. So I'm gonna divide my glue into little sections. Again, it's gonna be like paint, so you don't need a ton of each color. Now we're gonna add our color to this. I'm gonna do a purple. And you'll really only need one dot because this is a very small amount. Okay, now that we have a mix, let's take them back and uh, work on our sun catchers. Okay guys, so now I have my supplies for our very first sun catcher. I have my sun catcher, I've taken the paper off the back. Um, I have my uh, glue paints and I have water. I actually just use the same container uh, that we used to mix the, uh, the paint together. Uh, what we're going to do is use these just like we would paint. Oh, yeah. that was Minnow in the background, if you hear Minnow, she has a barking problem. Um, and we're gonna start painting our sections. As you can see on the turtle, the sections are small. It's more like stained glass. So this technique really requires you to dab more than brush. As I've done more and more, I realize that it's better to get uh, your brush covered. And then if you notice, I'm really just dabbing it more in place than I am painting it. It's super thick. So if you, if you drag it, it tends to um, not get in all the crevices. So you want to kind of Use your small paintbrush almost like a spoon, which is the only time you will ever hear me say that about paint. Usually I tell you guys, we're not eating cereal. Your paintbrush is not a spoon. 
But in this case, it does work better. As you can see, I'm kind of getting a decent amount on my brush and then I'm dabbing it into place. And obviously this will have to dry and once it's dry, um, these colors should be pretty vibrant. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, so last you guys saw, we were working on our turtle and we finished him up and obviously it's glue. So much like the black lining, um, you have to let it dry. So we've let it dry overnight, but I wanna show you what it looks like. It's really, really cute. So I'm gonna show you, oh, he's so cute. Um, I wish the sun was out a little bit more um, so you guys could see it. Um, let me see if I can turn it around and you can see it in the light of my chandelier there. Um, we'll try to get a picture of this also um, at the end. But as you can see, my glue totally dried and it got flat and it's actually see-through. Um, it's hard to tell when it's not in the light, but it looks really great and we're super happy with it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut him out. Uh, you could leave it on a full page, but we're gonna uh, cut around him, not super close to the line, but just so it's more of a turtle shape. Uh, you could also go ahead and do a hole punch and put them on a string in a window, whatever you like. Um, now we're gonna show you though our second technique for um, using sun, uh, making the sun catcher. So if you do not want to use the glue dishwashing soap option, this is another option and it's going to use Sharpies. And if you have it to spare, rubbing alcohol, you can do it without the rubbing alcohol, but um, it, it kind of looks really cool with it. So if you have it, um, that would be great. Remember we did this, I know um, my Davis kids, you guys had a half day before we were out, so you didn't get to this portion of uh, a project, but when we did our t-shirt tie-dye, we used Sharpies and rubbing alcohol. And uh, if you can find rubbing alcohol these days and you have some to spare, uh, we're gonna show you how it helps with the Sharpies and how it kind of makes a tie-dye effect, even on this plastic. But uh, what I like to do is put the um, rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. This is an old hair gel bottle. Uh, I find them to work far better than something you would buy at, let's say the dollar store or even Target, those like travel spray bottles. Those tend to spray too much. They're not as misty, um, but the hair care products are, are more misty. So if you have an empty bottle like this lying around, just use it, wash it out, fill it up with some rubbing alcohol. You don't need a ton, um, but it really does uh, make the sun catcher pop if you have it around. Um, so let's get started on showing you guys this second option for your sun catcher. All right guys, so now I have uh, a second option for coloring in your sun catchers. This is just a sun template. You'll find it in the printables file. And we are gonna go ahead and color this in. I'm gonna show you two ways of, of doing it. I think I'm gonna do orange, yellow, and red on these, because it's supposed to be a sun. So if I'm gonna just color it in, you can totally do that. I'm, I'm gonna show you on this red that it is perfectly acceptable to just color in the spots. You can do that and then totally leave it. Um, hold this up for you guys. Can you see that? It, it's great, it's fine, and it looks lovely. The other option is, is to use your Sharpies and the rubbing alcohol that I have here and to make it more of a tie-dye effect. So I'm gonna show you that in the center. Now, if you're going to use the rubbing alcohol, you'll definitely have to wait for things to dry. You don't want to spray the alcohol and then color over it. You, you, you will ruin your Sharpies. So you have to wait for everything to dry pretty well before you move on to another spot. So now we've colored it in. I've used three different colors. You can really choose whatever you want. And then I'm gonna spray it. We'll spray that red spot too. Um, the spray will make the 
um, the Sharpie bleed and it'll kind of give it a really cool tie-dye effect. We actually can do this multiple times. So when this dries, we could go back and we could do a more tie-dyed effect. We could do a little red here and there and then spray it again. Okay, and that looks really cool. So I'm gonna show you when you look at it closely. Can you see, it's more of a marbled effect. coloring it in and I sprayed it with alcohol. This is one coat. Um, as you can see, it, it still looks like there's some places that could use another. So what I like to do is after the first coat, we're gonna go back and do another coat of marker and then spray it again. So let's check out and see how that looks. Okay guys, I've put one coat on um, and I've let it all dry. And so we're gonna now do a second coat. I'll show you what one coat looks like with the rubbing alcohol. So it's not as dark as I'd want it to be. So we're gonna do another coat on top. So let's see how that looks. Okay guys, so I've been coloring this sun catcher. Um, the inside I had already done the uh, rubbing alcohol on. I'm doing all the outside now and I'm gonna show you what the difference is so you can decide how you wanna do it. Um, we're gonna do, I'd like to do two or three layers with the rubbing alcohol uh, because I think it looks uh, really nice to have those colors layered on top of one another. But you can color the whole thing and then spray it um, and then wait for it to dry and do another layer. That would be totally fine. So I'm gonna show you that on this outdoor, on this outside portion. And I'm gonna put a, 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 another layer on my inside. So we have now finished all of our different sun catchers with two, actually three different techniques. This one is our um, glue. I'm not sure how well you can see it out here. Let me see if you can see through it. This one is really, really cool. And I actually love the way it turned out. Uh, like I said, when we did this one, you had a more dab than you did paint, but it looks really, really great. Uh, this one we did, this is Alice's name. Um, like I said, if you want your name or some special lettering or something um, even that you're just looking for template-wise, email us. It's skills, the letter N, frills at gmail.com or hit us up on uh, Facebook or Instagram. And that is skills, the letter N, frills. Skills and frills on both Facebook and Instagram. Alice's name we did with uh, Sharpie. And we did um, the first coat, the first pass, we did just Sharpie. Then we did a second coat of Sharpie and did the rubbing alcohol. And I love the way that turned out. It looks really good. This is our last one that you guys watched us just do. This is our sun. And as you can see, we did different, uh, different levels of Sharpie and, or I'm sorry, different layers of Sharpie and we did rubbing alcohol in between them. And this is our finished product. They all look really great. You can see that, I think that the Sharpie ones are a little more transparent than the um, turtle, I'm sorry, than the glue ones, but they both just look amazing. I actually think I prefer the glue one. The colors are a little more vibrant. You guys can punch a hole in these with a hole puncher, hang them up. They'll be super cute. Um, 
I think they all look great. And I, I did read elsewhere that if you don't have white glue, if you, if you want to do the glue one, you can actually use clear glue as well and add um, paint to it if you have clear glue lying around. But I would love to see what you guys come up with. So definitely show us your sun catcher creations. Again, put them on Instagram or Facebook. It's skills and frills on both Instagram and Facebook. Um, or you can email us at skillsandfrills at gmail.com. I hope you guys had a great time. I hope you make tons of sun catchers. I can't wait to see what you've come up with. Um, have a great week. Uh, have a great spring break. And uh, we'll be back in touch with you guys in a week or so. Stay safe. Wash your hands. See you soon.